What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive in a car in about a hundred degree temperature in December. But what do we got today? I stopped at the new Miami Subs Grill and I got the classic cheese steak. They have an original cheesesteak, which just comes with cheese and onions. I got the classic that comes with cheese, onions, green peppers, and mushrooms. So we're going to dig right in. This was a 12-inch for $9 with tax. So let's check it out. So there you go. There's the 12-inch in its own separate little bag there. And uh, we're going to knock it out. See if Miami Subs brings the sub game. All right, so there we go in the wrapper. M&M. There we go. Go. Look at that. You see the onions peeking out and the steak. And I, you can't see them make this at Miami Subs, but you hear in the background the chop, 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 chop. And uh, so they're doing this right up on the grill. So take a look inside there. Yep. So let's get a half of this and uh, check it out. All right, so there's the six inch, the half of the uh, foot long. And uh, open it up. Looks like they skimped on the end there. They didn't go all the way to the edge. And uh, the cheese up on top is looking very minimal. And this is a Philly cheesesteak. So very little peppers in there as well. I'm seeing a lot of onions, very little cheese, and the steak... So let's dive right into this. I'm a little apprehensive already because to me, a Philly cheesesteak should be dripping in cheese, mixing in with that steak. Ah, <sighs> wish me luck. All right. One more bite. Okay, right off the bat, very dry, like I said. The cheese, you need that moisture, and it just wasn't there. The bread is soft, but it's kind of flaky and kind of breaks down as you bite into it instead of just kind of meshing in with all the other accoutrement inside the uh, sub. The steak is well-seasoned. It's pretty good steak, but all in all, just kind of flavorless, and without that cheese, like, again, I'm going to open it up and... Yeah, it's just not much cheese at all. I think I had two green peppers in there and the onions. And like I said, they don't even go all the way to the end of the sub with the meat. So kind of disappointed there. Just kind of shoddy workmanship, even with looking at the bun. And the place is kind of unusual where inside... If you saw at the beginning, they have Arthur Treacher's, Edie's Ice Cream, Nathan's Hot Dogs. They do burgers. And I know it's called Miami Subs Grill, but it's just like a hodgepodge of things inside there. And it's very strange. And the sub game is definitely lacking, in, in my opinion. I was definitely looking forward to this, getting a nice cheesesteak, knowing they did it on the grill. But the steak was seasoned well. I was okay with that. But lacking on the green onions non-existent cheese which you can't have in a cheesesteak so let's rate this shall we on a scale of 1 to 100 with 1 meaning do not even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of oh i'm gonna give the classic cheesesteak from miami subs grill a rating of Forty nine. Forty nine. Just a little bit under fifty. I don't really recommend this. I don't know if this is the norm. I haven't had a Miami sub in a long time. Um this just was dry and lacking on all counts. So I am not endorsing this sub. I'm a little disappointed. Nine dollars. I'm gonna finish it because the steak had a good taste, but overall, just kind of bummed. So 
What do you want from me? Another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Check me out on social media, Instagram and Twitter, and stay tuned for some more reviews. And if you can't tell, yeah, this is Florida in December. I am boiling like a lobster, like literally summertime drenched. So I took a shot, tried to hit up Miami subs, and I was disappointed. So if you've had a better experience or the same experience or any experience, put some comments in down below and we'll see you soon for some more reviews. Bye.